Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to 2KCW. Coming to you live from Ithaca, New York. And as they say, Ithaca is gorgeous. That is for sure. Coming out first, we got Ethan Palmer taking on a new debutante, at least in singles competition. A gentleman who we haven't seen, the debutante rather, is someone we haven't seen again in singles competition yet. Wanted to get some fine tuning over there in Syracuse at the academy for his first singles competition. And Ethan Palmer's been on a few ups and downs as of late. Let's see how he does here against his massive opponent in Lucas. Lucas, one of the many big men that we have here in 2KCW along with Tonga and Sawyer Justice. But at least from a height standpoint, he's definitely on par there with Tonga, that's for sure. Of course, where else do all big men come from? Detroit, Michigan. Same as Kevin Nash. Just much like Texas, everything is bigger in Detroit. We did see Lucas previously in one of the Brody Lee Battle Royals in our first episode. Wasn't able to make much of an impact there, but hopefully he does in his first singles match. My goodness, look at the height difference between himself and Ethan Palmer. Lucas just teeing off right now. A double leg takedown to Ethan Palmer. I don't know how Palmer's going to be able to take on Lucas, a man of his size. And Palmer with a, or excuse me, Lucas with a power slam. And now just grabbing him by the neck into a single-handed choke slam. And oh my god. Ethan Palmer's neck just draped the bottom rope right there. Hopefully he's okay. Lucas going for a second time. And again, Palmer's neck just draping over the bottom rope cover here. Only at one count. I don't know how Palmer is still in this, to be perfectly honest with you. Spinning back kick right into the abdomen. Well, a normal person, what would be the abdomen, but standing STL from Palmer would be more like in the waistline of Lucas. Spinning back elbow, coming up empty. Takedown missing. And Lucas has the advantage for now in his first match here. And Palmer's eating turnbuckle stuffing along with his turkey dinner on Thanksgiving. I'm trying, folks. Lucas got him up for a high angle. Brain buster. Or a spin out, pile driver, rather, excuse me. Cover here. And still only a one count. Lucas is almost in disbelief that he's not been able to put away Ethan Palmer yet. Gut wrench suplex from a standing position. Now Lucas looking for here a running high knee into the fireman's carry. Oh, he calls that the lights out cover. But only a two count calls that lights out, but it's not putting out lights of Ethan Palmer here. Now Lucas up on the top turnbuckle. What's he looking for here? Shooting star. My God, the 
flexibility of this man, but Palmer able to get the knees up. And again, maybe something like that is what he needs some fine tuning in the academy to not be able to pull off. Roll up. Innovative roll up here by Ethan Palmer. Get some fine tuning to make sure he can hit a shooting star press off the top turnbuckle. Now Palmer ascending up to the top rope. Double axe handle. Connects. Now Palmer in the corner. What's he looking for here? Super kick. Almost shades of Charlie Evans on that one. And now Palmer for the sliced bread that he calls better than you. And he may do that here. No, only two count on Lucas, the much bigger opponent. Like Fed's chop. Not able to do much of anything here. And Palmer just continuing to taunt Lucas here. Now through the ropes. Neckbreaker. Palmer dragging him toward the middle of the ring. Cover. And only still a one count from Lucas. Great fortitude on display here between both competitors. And another standing gut run suplex from Ethan Paul. Excuse me, from Lucas. Cover. And only a one count again. This match continuing. Until the referee hits a three counter submission. And now Lucas again with another spin out pile driver. To Ethan Palmer in the center of the ring, but Palmer able to keep control of the wrist and deliver a clothesline. Now he's using the ropes as a think he's gonna get a leverage advantage, but that's certainly not gonna be the case against a man like Lucas. With his size, he's running double knees to the back. Taking down Lucas. Elbow to the abdomen. Obviously, Palmer with the speed advantage here over Lucas. Running clothesline, taking down the big man. An opportunity arises for Ethan Palmer. Can Palmer capitalize with the big man being down? Doesn't seem to matter for Palmer either way. And a suplex. Palmer now into the cover. And two and th Oh, no. Still only a two count. I thought that was going to be it there for Ethan Palmer to get the victory. Palmer so up on his shoulders. Looking to hit the napalm on Lucas. Cover here. That ref. That was a that was most definitely a three count there. But the referees saying he kicked out. I I'm gonna not be impartial. I'm gonna call a little botch there on the referee's part but again this match continues sound like the referee definitely hit three but well, we may have to look into getting a new official after that or have this one take several breaks but nonetheless Palmer still in control of Lucas here innovative maneuver into the head scissors cover lackadaisical cover as well and Lucas barely getting the shoulder up that time as we've seen in the past with Tonga and Sawyer Justice that it's not always the big men that get to victories here in 2KCW armbar attempt here by Lucas an, ar an arm and knee bar 
Palmer able to escape. Obviously with a much smaller frame, he's going to be able to squeeze out of tight places. Lucas keeping control of the wrist. Into the suplex. Great combination there. Lucas looks like he may have been looking for the white for the lights out again. Back body drop by Palmer. Now Ethan Palmer stomping the right wrist or the left wrist of Lucas here. Maybe impartial a little finger food. Palmer. Again with that standing suplex. Over here on Lucas, two, three, and Ethan Palmer beats the big man. Here to kick off the show this week. As we take a look at the replays here. Here, I kind of thought it was going to be at the end of the match right there. A super kick from Ethan Palmer. And there's a, well, there would have been a thing of beauty if that replay was able to finish the May Palm. It was the better than you. And the wrist lock, clothesline from Ethan Palmer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. And of course, not all debut matches end in victories. That's definitely assured. But coming up next, folks, we got ourselves tag team action. The Red River Connection versus the impromptu team of Curtis Christian and Cameron Neo. And here we are back with tag team action. Curtis Christian coming out first. Curtis has opened the eyes to a lot of the people here in 2KCW, a lot of the producers and backstage staff, as well as all the trainers. Head coach Slick Wagner Brown and assistant head coach, the hybrid Sean Carr. Very impressed with Curtis Christian. So far, and again, his almost perfect chemistry with Cameron Neo. With the way that these two have gelled together, I would almost argue that they may be in line soon for a tag team title opportunity, but that's not up for me to decide. Chris Christian following his dream to become a professional wrestler. Of course, an avid fan of action figures, much like Ethan Page and Brian Myers and Matt Cardona. And Cameron Neo making his way to the ring. We may need to develop a tag team name for this team, that's for sure. Again, not much known as about Cameron Neo, but maybe with the help of Curtis Christian, he can open himself up a little bit and let us know more about himself. But what thing we do know about both guys is that they are Definitely efficient in the ring and can get the job done. We've seen that a couple times now in tag team action. And one team that hasn't had a lot of victories so far and it's quite surprising is the Red River Connection. Buck McCoy on your left, Keith Mayfield on your right. Both former members of the Canadian Football League. So they ran into some legal troubles and realized that they can 
earn money the right way, not the easy way, but the right way, by getting into the squared circle. They're actually kicked out of the Canadian Football League for being too, too rough with the other players and subsequently had a change of change of fortune. Here we go, Chris Christian and Keith Mayfield, or excuse me, Buck McCoy, starting things off in this tag match. Jawbreaker from Curtis Christian. Laying out, Buck. You now standing us, a well, standing backbreaker into the side rushing leg sweep from Curtis Christian. Of course, last week we saw the debut of Devin Andrews, the brother, the older brother of Kurt Andrews, the GAW Academy champion. He went on about how all the talent scouts went more for Kurt than they did for Devin, and this is his opportunity to make a name for himself in the higher standard for Devin Andrews, but we're not here to talk about Devin Andrews. We're here to talk about Red River Connection and Curtis and Cameron. Off the ropes goes Cameron Neal into this back, spinning back elbow from Keith Mayfield. Standing leg drop. Right across the neck of Cameron Neo. Sweeping the legs and now Neo isolating Keith. Back elbow, Cameron Neo holding his own here against Keith Mayfield. Into the top turnbuckle, tag made. Instead of eating turnbuckle, he's eating boot from Curtis Christian. Now Christian with a leg DDT, foot DDT. Keith Mayfield in a running drop kick in the corner. Going for it a second time. Takes down the big man. Now Curtis maybe looking to put the match away. Kurt, Keith able to make the tag to Buck in a single leg drop kick. Beautifully done by Keith. Running forearm, taking down Curtis and another one. As DJ Khaled would say, another one. Again, I'm trying here, folks. Every once in a while in the Sahara Desert, you'll find some dry humor. Anyway, Keith Mayfield, excuse me, Buck, I'll get him right once in a while. Buck working on Christian here. Fireman's carry position. Looking for maybe a Samoan drop. Inverted DDT connects by Curtis Christian. Now Curtis. He's got Buck up. Looking for the down to earth. That elevated DDT cover here. From Curtis Christian. Two and three. Curtis and Cameron win again. These two are an absolute unit together. And then we saw the final tides turn. The fireman's carry was countered to a inverted DET. Then there's a straight on elevated DET from Curtis Christian to Keith May Buck McCoy. Better have a jar next to me every time I get somebody's name wrong. I owe myself a lot of money. Or somebody anyway. Maybe the Red River Connection, all of them, a lot of money. But it's the end of the day. Cameron and Christian get the victory. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be closing out the show this week with some women's action. Don't go anywhere.
And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with our main event. Miss Maria in action. We've been seeing quite a bit of Miss Maria. Some good, some bad. Miss Maria is still trying to find her footing here in 2KCW, but maybe with a victory over her opponent here tonight, which I'm not 100% sure who it's going to be, but we'll find out here in mere moments who her opponent is. The lights are darkened. Oh, ho, ho. it's Jenna Jordan. We haven't seen Jenna Jordan here in quite some time. Jenna Jordan has been on tour with Shimmer Women's Athletes and then even taking part in the tournament to crown a Women's Ring of Honor Champion. Jenna Jordan, a very well-traveled veteran here in the States. Big return here for Jenna Jordan. Let's see if she can capitalize with a victory over Miss Maria. A flying crossbody taking down Jenna. Cover here by Maria, not even a one count. Jenna Jordan, very exciting young competitor to watch. Running drop kick. I would almost compare her to Candice LeRae. Double foot stomp from Jenna Jordan. Miss Maria trying to scramble the brains of Jenna Jordan. Miss Maria going to work on Jenna Jordan here. Miss Maria throwing Jenna into the corner. Monkey flip out of said corner. Into the cover now. Only a one count and Jenna still has a lot of fight left in her. And another standing drop kick from Miss Maria taken down. Look at stomp out the return of Jenna Jordan here in 2KCW. Looking for an inverted DDT. Standing suplex counter. And the knee drop from Jenna Jordan. Working on the arms, which of course is great use for Maria since she uses the uh, the catch and release as a finisher, a belly to belly suplex. Cover here, off the striking combination, only a two count. And now Jenna looking to put this match away. So a straight jacket D18 that she calls Make a Wish. Rolling into the cover here upon her return to and only a kick out. Kick out at two. Miss Maria still in this match. Jenna was looking to go on work on the legs of Maria, but she was able to shove her off. And there we go, belly to belly. From Miss Maria cover here. Two count and only. And still Jenna with a kick out. Miss Maria now with the bow and arrow stretch here. Keeping Jenna grounded. What a coup this would be for Miss Maria, she was able to knock off Jenna upon her return. Again, off a successful tour with Shimmer and the Women of Honor. Oh, 
Now Jenna fighting back here. Series of back for back elbows. And through the ropes and that roundhouse kick right to the side of the head. Maria got caught with a dragon screw takedown. And a jawbreaker. As Jenna was trying to keep her momentum going. Oh, here we go with the catch and release. Dragging her in the center of the ring. Miss Maria can she defeat. Jenna Jordan here in our main event. Two count. Jenna Jordan still live here in this matchup in our main event. Arm drag takedown. Beautifully done there by Jordan. Kick blocked. And the tilt roll head scissors from Miss Maria. Maria's a little bit bigger than the rest of the, the, rest of the women here in our division, but she can still move with the best of them. Keeping control of the wrist. It's a face full of fists. For her efforts, Hurricanron takes down Maria. Jordan needs to bring this match back inside. Spear heel kick. Costing Jordan, Jenna dearly. Now these two just brawling outside the ring here. As the referee got to a count of six, this match will continue. Back inside and now Jenna Jordan again with a make a wish. From out of nowhere, make a wish to hits. Two count and three. Jenna Jordan picks up the victory here. In our main event, we take a look at the replays from this. Great match for Jenna's return. And there's the monkey flip. A lot has happened, honestly, since Jenna's been gone. A dizzy jet. Getting to be on the top of the power rankings here, at least in our women's division. I would say probably entirely that Dizzy has become the face of the, of the women's division. And here we see the first make a wish beautifully done right in the center of the ring. But that wasn't going to be enough for Miss Maria that she. Still had more to give in this match, and there's that belly to belly suplex, not quite the catch and release that Maria was looking for, but there's the catch and release, that pump handle slam. into the cover wasn't going to be enough to put away Jenna Jordan Jenna still continues to fight congratulations to Jenna Jordan upon your return to 2KCW with a victory well ladies and gentlemen that is going to do it for our show this week we hope you enjoyed don't forget if you're if you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like on this video and to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any kind of action, whether it's here in 2KCW or RCW. Have a good night.